Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today to do a quick read for the signs of Pisces. Um, and before I could jump into the video, I want to say I wanted to get you guys' opinion on how long do you think um, a tarot, like a tarot reading video, how long do you think that should be before it's considered too long or too short? So I want to get your input back, Pisces, because I'm going to start. Um, somebody told me my videos was too long. My friend did. So I'm trying to see if that's how y'all feel too. Okay. So what I was getting for you guys is um, some truth. For some, oh, also, I got some more new cards. I got in Barbara Moore's. Barbara, Barbara Moore's The Wizard Tarot. And then I just love this tarot. The Gilded Tarot. It's so pretty. Like, I just love how the cards just got so much picture and stuff. Okay, so. Some truth. Some clarity could be coming to you guys. Okay. Could have just gotten clarity. Could have just gained uh, some truth. Um, to where you're feeling like you're at a point to where everything makes sense now. Or, boom, it all makes sense now. If that hasn't happened to you yet, it will be happening to you. Um. And if that has already happened to you, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, I kept hearing restart or do over or hard times are over. Um, that kind of has to go back to do, I guess, with that shift. I put up a video yesterday for shift, uh, uh, energy change and shift. Um, it don't have no views, but it's up there. In case y'all want to go watch it, okay? So... I wanted to get on here and get y'all some messages about this clarity, this truth, for this all all of a sudden something makes sense to you, okay? Aha moment. I mean, you're hearing the aha moment. You start feeling like, well, how did I know that? How did I see that? The answer was hidden in plain sight. I'm here. <laughs> <coughs> so starting off, oh, we got the devil on the bottom. Starting off with the gilded tarot. We're gonna get some messages out here. God, universe, angel, spirit, guys. I shuffled the heck out of these cards, y'all. I want to make sure. a little more since I'm on video now they brand new this is the we breaking them in y'all Pisces Pisces Nation I'm breaking them in with y'all both of my decks we're gonna use we're gonna oh. we're gonna use them and we're gonna clarify with Barbara's more which which is Wizards Tarot okay so we're gonna clarify with the Wizard Tarot and we're gonna start here with the reading with this tarot okay so, God, what's this message about truth and clarity and it all making sense, starting over, do over, hard times ending? Could you give us some clarity here for Pisces based upon this message, this channel message I was receiving? Okay, so. The first card we got, the Hanging Man in reverse. The Four of Pentacles in the upright. And the Three of Swords in the upright. The Empress on the bottom. Six of Swords. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords. Okay, so what this looks like is um here's that truth, that clarity, that it all makes sense. This new perception that's gained, okay, with the hanging man in reverse. Okay. This is, this is a woman too. But as you can see, um this is her in the, the correct position. Like this, she right here she can't see nothing, but right here she can oversee everything going on here. Okay? So that's with this hanging man in reverse. This is your clarity coming in here regarding something that you possibly been um, holding on tightly to. Something that caused you heartbreak here. Uh, currently or in the past. You possibly could have been hurt, holding on to it now or in the past here. 
um, a new beginning, possibly, which you were holding on to. Um, something you had a lot of love for with the Queen of Cups. Something you could um, possibly be still holding on to. Okay, because if you look at this Queen of Cups here, she's still waiting. Holding on to that cup, waiting. Okay. I feel like before you went in here and gained this new perspective, perspective here, you was in the Queen of Cups mode. But I feel like now you're in this Empress mode here. Okay. So you're bringing in this new begin, this new beginning for yourself with or without whatever this was you was holding on to. It could be a person since you got heartbreak behind it. What else do we got for the collective Pisces? What is the message? Okay. I'm going to make sure I got enough room. That's two cards right there. And they both in reverse. Okay. But that's good because it's the two of swords and the five of wands. So, this new beginning of yours. Okay. Where you decided to come out of the illusion here, where of hold of feeling like you needed to hold on to something in order for it to be yours, when we know that whatever God has for us is for us here. So this is you deciding to stop holding on so tightly, deciding to take that new perspective that you gain, where it all makes sense now, and to let go of what you've been holding on so tightly to. Okay, we got the five of wands in reverse. Okay, conflict. And fighting and all that good stuff feels like it's dying down here at this point in time or has current just previously died down or is beginning to die down right around the time you make this decision to let go because um I believe this this holding on with the four of pentacles to whatever was holding you hurting you I believe this is a uh, cause conflict within yourself but when you deceive and you make this this decision with this two of swords and to choose a different perspective with the hangman about this four of pentacles, you notice that you come out of conflict. You come out of conflict. You come out of being conflicted within yourself here. And then we got the knight of swords here. The Knight of Swords is normally fast-moving energy without putting a whole bunch of thought. Possibly, um, they just feel like, I got to get in here and I got to do it. I got to do what I got to do. I got to get it done now. Now, with this Knight of, this knight of Swords, it doesn't feel like he's he's in a rush at all. Okay? He's sitting there. He's um sitting on his... Excuse me, y'all. He's sitting on his throne, his horse, and he's guarded. Okay? He's not moving. He's not charging. But he's sitting there with his sword. I'm like, hey, but nobody get close to me. Okay, so I feel like you could be guarded right now, Pisces. Okay, you can have a lot of options, but you're guarded. There could be a lot of options around you here. And you, cause you're guarded because you just walk away from something. Okay. And this options could be the person you walked away from here. The person that you walked away from, um, it could have been due to secrets with the moon in, in, the, in the top of that card here. Okay. It's a little fuzzy cloud over top of that moon. You're not able to see clearly. Okay. Now we have the world card here. The cycle has just ended, just changed, just began. Okay. When you walked away, you, you brought in a new cycle here. Okay. And you felt victorious about it here. Okay. Say this King of Wands said the same. Because somebody's looking at you like, wow. What you, what you on to there? Look how he's checking you out. What you on to? What's this world, this new beginning? What you, where you going? Look at him, like, where's she walking to? Where she thinks she walking away from? Who she thinks she walking away from? Who he think he walking away from? So we're going to get a couple more out here. Let's scoot these up. Okay. We got three more cars out here for the current energy. For this, for Pisces, 
But regarding this truth, clarity, restart over, do a hard time of being over. Something's in here flipped over. The devil. Oh, wasn't he on that bottom? Okay. We got the Ace of Cups on the bottom. With the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. Wow. And the High Refined. And the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Somebody went through a transformation nearby, around you, within or with around you. Could be dealing with a Virgo, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay? Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We got the high priestess right here. Right next to the devil. I love that. I love the high priestess right here next to the devil because she is the keeper of the unknown secrets. Okay? I love that. You see how that devil's sitting here looking like he got these people under a spell doing what they want him to do? Then you got the high priestess. You see how she looks like she's just rising above all of that. She see it clearly. She's straight through that bullshit so she can rise right above it. Look at that high priestess. Rising above the bullshit. Transcending straight through illusion. Like, psh, you ain't putting up no bullshit for me. Ain't no craziness here. We got the Ace of Cups on the bottom. It's a new beginning here. Somebody wanting a new beginning here. What else we got? One more card, please. One more card. Okay. The Six of Cups. Somebody coming back from the past. Somebody from a past life. Okay. Yeah, somebody with a lot of passion. And the lovers. Somebody that sees you as the lovers in a very happy place with the sun. Want to bring in the balance with the Six of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles here. See, this Two of Pentacles is not juggling at all. He's balanced and his rainbow is shining. This is a balanced two of pentacles. This person, that's two balanced cards here. Okay? Two balanced cards. The two of pentacles, because in this deck, that's a balance right there. That's not needing the balance. That's not juggling shit. That's being balanced. But then you got the six of pentacles. Which is this man, he's sitting here balancing as well. Okay, this person is trying to balance as well, but you see this person sitting here with the hand out, trying to sneak some shit in, or trying to, two hands out, sitting there trying to grab pinnacles. Okay, and this person ain't worried about them, whoever this is, reaching their hands. This person up here trying to balance out the pinnacles here. This person ain't worried about nothing but balancing out this, whatever this is with you, okay? Because you are the happy place, the ultimate happy place, with the lovers. Knight of Cups, want to run in here passionately and let you know. But with this Six of Cups, I wanted to bring some attention to the Six of Cups because I feel like this person that you're dealing with, this person could have had to kiss a lot of frogs just to get to his princess, okay? This person knows. With this Six of Cups, this person knows that you're the only cup for them. Do you see in the middle? I don't know if you can see. Let me. This cup right here. It has a different type of light shine to it. Do you see that? How the light is illuminated? Like they all are illuminated, but that one just like kind of blended in with the sun. So the, see how that cup, that cup's bright. That's bright. These got rats. But this sun, this car is, is the perfectly illuminated car. Uh, the perfectly illuminated cup to blend in with the sun from the background. Okay. See that? The butterflies even frying from it. And this guy, he's looking looking at that cup like, boy, I wonder if it's going to be another frog in there. He ain't looking at the cup. He's looking at you, but he's looking straight ahead. But, you know, that person see you as being the only cup for them, the ultimate happiness. Okay? I don't know what, why we got this devil here, though, but we're going to find out. Okay, this person could be in the whole back feelings. This person could have addictions, okay? Codependencies. I ain't get to ask nothing yet, but some cards are flipped. Let's see if it's telling us anything about this person. What they might be dealing with, with this devil. Let's see here. The Ace of Pentacles. 
and justice. Oh, that's what it is. Justice in the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so if this person was toxic to you in the past, they definitely coming back different. Because judgment done toe into their ass, okay? I don't know what people get, get the uh, thought that they can just do crazy shit to people and just get away with it. Like, no. We do have karma. We do have karma in place for people like that. Okay. I feel like this hanging man, and we already know that's a new perspective already here. But let's get something else because we can get more stories. Why is this hanging man here in the reverse for Pisces? The hanging man, why is that here in the reverse for Pisces? Card flipped over. I gotta find it. I love how these cards are on the back. They're so pretty. Shout out to whoever made these mugs. Um, Barbara Moore. Okay. How's my cards in the reverse? Oh, I got the deck upside down. I don't know. I got half the deck upside down, y'all. How do I do that? So this shouldn't even be in the reverse. Nothing should be in the reverse just yet. A lot of is. You know how you be accidentally shuffling the wrong way? I really ain't got time to be sitting here trying to turn on the car. I mean, we do got time, but I was hoping to not use my time like that. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of them. See, I done shuffled the wrong way. That's what done happen here, y'all. Ain't that about a bitch? The Ace of Pentacles is not in the reverse. We just looked at it. I'm sorry, y'all. There's the card that made me buy the deck, y'all. I'm going to show it to y'all. It's the Ten of Cups. It's a man standing out there waiting. I see somebody do a reading. And they had that boy. I was like, ooh, I fell in love. I was like, these are the cards I connected with right here. I need them. And what do you know? I was able to get me some. By the grace of God, because he's so good to me. It's ridiculous, y'all. This is the slowest way somebody can ever get all the parts turned around. Well, at least we know. So we'll be sitting here with reversals all over the damn place. So, clarifying. Um... Page of Cups here. That's good. Page of Cups. We have a Page of Cups and the High Priestess clarifying the Hanging Man. Okay? We got your intuition here. Somebody's intuition telling them to, to, to go in here with an apology or to find a new way of going about it emotionally. To find a new way to go about things emotionally with the Hanging Man in reverse and the Page of Swords at the bottom. Then we have the Two of Cups. And we got find a new way to go about something emotionally because this is regarding your feelings here. You were needing to find a new perspective, a new way to go about to how to get this emotion, how to get this two of cups you wanted. 
four of pentacles besides holding on tightly to it and i think you your intuition paired up with it um this hangman in reverse to help you out here to find this new way of seeing things new way of perceiving things new way of being new way of going about things new way of doing things besides holding on here okay the knight of swords came out here too oh, was he already sitting there he might have already been sitting there i don't really remember y'all because we're gonna say he just came out since he didn't get noticed we got the two of wands here yep It's like you was on the path of holding, you was on there holding on too tight, and then you got a spark, a bright, a bright idea with this two wands to make a new decision, and you did it fast with this Knight of Swords. It was fast, quick, and swift, and it might have been harsh, but it was true when it hurt you. What's the Spirit of Swords here? It hurt you to let go, but it was hurting you to hold on too, right? What's the Spirit of Swords here? tower no i'm not then we got the two of swords on the bottom here okay so I'm like, something had you in confusion here feeling like putting you with feeling putting you at a crossroads here making you feel like you didn't know what to do where you stand where you gotta go what's going on here then we got the uh knight of pentacles in reverse here no movement forward here okay you just lost, confused, and trying to figure it out. With no direction, nowhere to go, and no movement here. And that caused a tower for you. A really hurt tower. This mug blew up. The top blew off. The roof blew off, okay? Because there was no movement here. And you decided, forget that. I'm making a decision to get away from this shit. I'm not about to keep myself conflicted. Shit. I'm not about to keep myself conflicted. Here with the five of wands in reverse. I'm speeding the hell out of here. Knight of Swords. Again, Knight of Swords up there. So wherever you was going, you was getting the fuck out of there fast. Possibly away from this devil. Toxic energy. Here. Excuse me. What's this two of swords? What decision was made after the tower? Two of swords. What decision was made after the tower? I feel like this is past energy. In the past, you were going through hurt. In the past, you were holding on. And you got some enlightenment came through. If it, if it hasn't happened for you yet, then it will. It's like I need that card flipped over because I've seen a card flip over here. Okay. There it is. King of Cups. Then we got the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Somebody feeling like they trapped. Or somebody's being held against their will. Literally here. Somebody jealous. Doing magic possibly with this Five of Wands. Look at that Five of Wands. This magic swirling all over the place. And this person's tied all up. Then we got the Eight of Cups walking away into that dark ass room. I don't know. Somebody could be on some fuckery here. Someone up, some, somebody could be getting manipul emotionally manipulated here. Coming out of the nightmare. Okay, with the nine of swords in reverse. The nightmare is ending and you're waking up from it. What do y'all want? Bye. Sorry, these damn kids get on my nerves. Sitting there standing there making funny. I don't see shit funny. Bye, get out of my damn way. Anyway, back to the video. Nine of swords in reverse. Coming out of the nightmare, okay? Coming out of Coming out of the nightmare. As you can see, she was floating. She's floating above the nine of swords, which means she's she's coming out of it. She's coming out of the pain. Coming out of the illusion. Coming out of the anxiety. Okay? Coming into em emotional maturity. Okay? Coming into a whole lot of self-love. Coming into a new path. Okay, what's this five of wands? First, what's this king of cups? What's this King of Cups? For Pisces. King of Cups for Pisces. 
One card did flip, but I wanted to keep shuffling it out. Okay. Two of swords again. But this time it's in the upright. So possibly this tower hit, okay? Because nothing was moving forward here. You was just hurt and things were stagnant and you were probably hurt because they're stagnant. Possibly somebody could be coming in here or have come in here. Child talk about how much love they got for you, okay? And they put you in a very panic mode, okay? Yep, coming here talking about they want to work together, have a new beginning, and a happy ten of pentacles with you. They need a lot of strength. And you sat here waiting anyway. The hermit could be a Virgo, could be a Pisces. Or a Cancer. But either somebody coming in here express their love for you or you didn't gain some emotional maturity. Even you probably gain emotional maturity anyway, but somebody could be coming in here express their love to you with this King of Swords because I mean, this King of Cups, because we got the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords. A lot of mental, a lot of mental energy going on here around somebody wanting to work with you and having a beginning with you. What's the Two of Swords in the upright? Two of Swords. What's the two of Swords. Okay. Six of Cups again. This person views this as a, as a soulmate. They view this as a childlike, innocent love. Okay? They feel like y'all were together in another past life here. What well, they could have possibly betrayed you here with the Ten of Swords on the bottom. Or they coming in here letting you know, hey, I didn't close something out. I got some, a passion and idea and I want to manifest you here. Okay. What's this five of wands in the reverse? Why is this five of wands here in the reverse? Five of wands in the reverse. Page of swords. Six of wands. See, in this Six of Wands, these people are, are enhancing their powers. This man is feeling, feeling happy and showing his powers off to people, okay? People are looking at him and praising him. We got the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant here. And the King of Wands with the Queen of Swords and Justice. But you definitely found a new way of going about things. A new way of being. You could have possibly been stalking, stalking a person a little bit or keeping a little tabs on them. But you definitely found a new way of going here with this page um, with this page of swords here. And you definitely are feeling victorious about it with the six of wands. Okay, you're feeling like you have um, increased your craft, increased your abilities, increased your power, increased your inner knowing here. Okay. What's this King of Swords? I mean, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. We got the Seven of Wands. Feeling like you got the higher ground to stand up and fight. And the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This person's all off in the days, okay? Not doing anything, but I feel like you're uh, you're rushing out of this energy here with the Knight of Swords. You could be defensive here right now at this time, which I said already, but um, 
with the seven of pentacles in the reverse you're working hard right now okay so possibly bring balance into your life or you possibly just feel uh figured out how to the figured out the knowledge you need and i have um the tools you need in order to provide the balance you need in your life here with the seven of pentacles in reverse but you are definitely working hard okay um and, and work and overworking okay um on something to do with moving forward here more balance and taking the leap of faith here with the ace ace of wands a passion new beginning the emperor okay why is this devil here why is this devil here for pisces what's the devil here I'm just over here. Why the wands? Because when I see two cards flip, okay. Well, we didn't. We got the Eight of Wands. We got fast communication coming in here around this devil. What's this Eight of Wands? Okay. Working together with you in the new beginning. Ten of Wands. Bringing in all they baggage, all they birdies. All that devil energy. That probably don't even belong to them with the Ten of Wands. They hold another whole burdens. Okay. Temperance. Okay, we got the nine of wands on the bottom. Not giving up here. Standing up and fighting for something. You could be standing, this could be you standing up and fighting against that devil here. Because that devil got you fucked up here. Okay. The ten of, the, the toxic, the toxicness could be being put to an end here with the ten of wands, but... I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like this person has a lot of toxic energy in their energy, within their energy. And with all the different color lights, I feel like the energies belong to different people. Not even this person, but it's it's seeping through their 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 uh, their pores like like alcohol. Okay, so this person, the devil. We got fast communication coming in from the devil about laying down some burdens here. Wanting to work together with you on this new beginning to bring in the balance here with temperance. But the devil is bringing that in. Uh -huh. The devil can't bring you shit. You can't take nothing from no devil. What's this? What's this devil card? What's this devil card? Why is the devil here? What's this devil offering to some, some the Pisces? The magician. Somebody is being deceptive. Somebody is lying. Somebody is being at their low low vibrations when they are manifesting. Somebody is wanting conflict here because you are the star. Okay, and you selling the way the karma waters without them. So somebody's coming in here trying to bring an ace of cups, an ace of pentacles through price and passion, passion. But your intuition is right here about to let you know who this who is this magician. Could be a Virgo or Aries. What's this magician? I don't trust this magician. It's the devil. He makes it look like he's a magician. Look like he can offer some new beginnings. Look like he got all the tools he needs, but he really don't got shit really. Just the devil here. Could be the King of Pentacles here. Okay. The King of Pentacles, it could be an earth sign. And he could also be a married man. But he's sitting there. You look how stingy he is. 
And he, look, he might not be so nice in this deck because he's sitting there holding on tight to that damn pinnacle. His background don't look as wealthy as the um, original King of Pinnacles background does. Okay. And this person will probably come in here with some page, some emotion, something about passion. Coming in here talking about how passionate they are, which are some little passion. Passion. Sitting in here, some little passion. Six of Swords here. They don't like, yeah, this person got a problem with you sailing out the calmer waters without them. Just look at that. If you look at this this lady, she's trying to sail all the way to calmer waters, right? Well, she don't look like it, but it look like she's trying. That's what she's doing with this car being here. But look who's driving. Look like Mr. King of Pentacles, don't it? There's the King of Pentacles. And there's the driver. Right there. Driver. King of Pentacles. Driver. King of Pentacles. Look like he didn't pull his head down, his hat down a little bit. King of Pentacles, the devil. King of Pentacles, the devil. Hiding under that hat. So. I feel like this king, this king of Pentacles, is coming in here with some devil energy in or around his own energy here, and he's upset about you calm, selling away the calm waters. Maybe this devil is uh, obsessed with you here. Maybe this devil is jealous of you with the five of wands on the bottom because you're walking away and putting an end to the situation, and they want a higher level of commitment here. What's this high priestess? The high priestess being present. I feel like you're gonna be able to see right through this person's bullshit. Is what I'm feeling. You're going to transcend, you're going to, truth transcends illusion. You're going to rise above all this shit, okay? okay. You got a death card. Yeah, you're going to put an end to something. Oh, eight of cups. Your high priestess, the high priestess is here. With the death card and the eight of cups. This part, this is the person you walked away from. With the death card and the eight of cups. Due to your intuition telling you something. Because this person wasn't was stuck making my movement. It's, and you thought they was a wish fulfillment. And the passion in the beginning is how you seen them. But they were trapped. Okay. What's this death card and this eight of cups? Death card and eight of cups. Why is that here? Nine of Wands. Death card and the Eight of Cups. What's the death card and the Eight of Cups here for? The death card and the Eight of Cups. It's like you put an end to something and walk away. And somebody said, no, nah, not like that. And ain't, it ain't over till I say it's over. With this Nine of Wands coming out here, feeling like they're just not giving up. Okay, this person is going to be very determined. If they ain't already in here, they are determined. But with the Nine of Wands, this person is ready to stand their ground. And they're ready to battle, ready to fight, ready to do whatever it takes. What's this death card in this Eight of Cups? Two of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. They want fight for balance. They want balance with you. After a rusty retreatment. Okay. What's this two of pentacles? Two of pentacles. The debil. The debil. Look at it in reverse though, y'all. Because you, cause you put it into this shit. So the person... I feel like the person was toxic in the past, okay? And when you put an end to it and put, you know, walked away from it, they realized they had to let go of these toxic ass ways, whatever they may be, if they want to stand up and fight for this this new beginning and this balance with you, okay? They want to fight for it with this five of, five of swords on the bottom. A new beginning. Would you look at that lady? She pouring them cups out, going to figure out where she got to find, fill them up. Then we got the higher find. Okay, 
and the four of wands under that somebody this person sees that you guys can have a stable connection with the ace of pentacles the ace of cups and then but they was trapped in their mind or trapped in their head and they're holding on tight but it was they might have been then they were keeping see they were keeping how they felt locked away with that king of cups up there now they won't bring in the balance what's, what's the six of cups Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Two of Cups. Yep. That's what they want. New beginning in the motion. And they're going to be willing to do whatever it takes. Stand up and fight because, like I said in the story earlier, you are the only cup for them with the Six of Cups. You are the only cup that for them. There you are, Pisces. Queen of Cups on the bottom. They want this new beginning with you. They want the luck. They see you as luck, fame, and fortune with the Wheel of Fortune. And they want. They see you as happiness, the end all, be all with the Ten of Pentacles. Here we dealing with a Virgo with the Hermit popping out. And they see Nine of Pentacles. You single, looking good and sexy. And they are very discontent with that. Okay. What's this Two of Cups? We got the sun card falling right out. The sun card, a very happy place for this person, for you too, possibly. Yep. After you leaving it in the cold, this person had to be left in the cold to realize that you were the happy place for judgment to hit their ass and realize how much potential this, this actually has gotten. Judgment was hidden right after the justice card was made. But look at that. This is the reason I got the card. With the Ten of Cups. Justice is called. Around this Ten of Cups possibly. Somebody don't like how it ended or how it went. Okay, don't like the, how they were left out in the cold. Don't like how it was unknown. Possibly. Somebody didn't like how it was unknown. So they left it in the cold here. Could have been an extra queen here. Okay. A couple extra queens. It looked like. Possible. Don't gotta be. Could be just energy. Don't gotta be people. Okay. So, what's this? We don't need to know what the sun card and this two of cups is, but let's see anyway. Who's the sun? Who's, who's gonna be coming in here trying to get sun card? Who's gonna be coming in here bringing this two of cups for the Pisces? We got two cards out there. Oh, three. We got the moon. It's unknown to you. It's a secret. Could be dealing with another Pisces. You could be dealing with a with a Cancer. But we got the Five of Swords coming out in the reverse. This person don't want no more conflict with you. You could be dealing with an air sign. A Gemini. A Libra or a Aquarius. See? Or Aquarius. Could be dealing with Aquarius. But this person wants to come in here and have this healing with you. They see you as a wish fulfillment. Okay, and it possibly was unknown to them, and they were just now being enlightened about it. Okay, so yeah, I like these cards, Pisces. These are nice, these are nice cards right here. These are nice cards. I'm doing all the reads with these cards this week. That was nice. That was nice, didn't they? So that's what I got for you. This ain't real quick, but I'm just throw that extra Pisces bonus. I'm gonna throw it out there as a Pisces bonus because I was just I was filling messages for you, and I feel the need to get them out here. Um, I started to get more and more messages lately, so I picked up messages yesterday. So if you feel like you have some kind of big shift in your life or been taking place in your life. Go check out that other video I put up yesterday. It's a timeless read. It's called The Big Shift. But maybe you should go check it out. Because if this resonates with you, that might resonate with you as well. Because the big shift is the whole reason that we're here. Because the shift took place. Now this person, energy done shifted. Now this person is doing what you did. Probably sweating you. We used to sweat them. Okay? Because that sweat, the time where you sweat people, it's come to a close. It's either people going to be getting sweat you or they're going to be getting sweated down. So that's how it's going to go. Okay, so with that being said, that's what I got for you today, Pisces, for your bonus to read. Okay, and if this resonated with any of you guys, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, and 
subscribe to the channel look in the description box check out my merch i got new necklaces okay guys they're cute they're real cute okay i ain't getting posted yet but look at that ain't that cute i got new necklaces i got a whole lot of them too a whole lot of different colors different shades but i'm gonna have those up and everything by the um, next week because i already i put that i put one of those outfits up that i told you guys was gonna be up there by the end of the week I'm having a little bit more difficulties with the skirt, but I kind of just want to throw all my energy into the jewelry right now anyway. Anyways, you can check me out. My link is in the description for my merch. Um, any personals or anything, all that's in the description box. Um, check out the other video on the big shift that I posted last night or this morning. And all right, that's what I got for you. See you later, Pisces. Bye. Period.